Bex PMT here and this is a video on the Kea Contour Diaphragm. This is a one size fits most silicon diaphragm as opposed to the traditional diaphragms which are sized and made out of latex. This was from femininewear.co.uk and cost approximately £40 and we decided to try to use a diaphragm because Hormonal contraceptives don't work for me and condoms, we can't use them as often as we'd like to have sex because um, he has circumcision scars which get sore and the condoms make that worse. So like we're limited sort of thing. We have higher sex drives than, yeah. Anyway, moving on from that point, um, I didn't think I'd have any problems inserting the care because I have been a menstrual cup user for over six years and I am 23 now and I've been sexually active for many years so I'm quite familiar That's if you want to say that and here is the care it is a lovely lilac -y silicon it is smaller in size than a instead soft cup but it's larger in like diameter than a menstrual cup but it's nowhere near as deep you can see that it's like basically only as deep as your cervix is which is all this needs to be so to use this you take the diaphragm you put some of the contraceptive gel in here and a little bit around the edges you then squish it it has little grip marks which you want Oh, actually, you can just about make them out. I just don't know where my thumb is. Which So you can squish it like this. You insert it towards you like this with a nub bit. Here has a narrow one, so you can't get it wrong. You put it in. You make sure this goes up and behind your cervix. And this bit gets pushed up behind your pubic bone. And then it's held in place. You then check that it's in the right place. You should be able to feel this lovely soft silicon. And then your cervix through it. And if that's the case chance that it's fitted properly um <coughs> yeah so that's how you fit it i can do it in less than two minutes and i've even managed it when pretty drunk so it's really easy if you're familiar with your body in terms of how efficient this is at preventing pregnancy with perfect use uh diaphragm can be around 96% effective when combined with a contraceptive gel. Now this is based on several factors and I don't have a reference to hand so I urge you to search this for yourself before committing to a diaphragm. Um, a lot of figures on the internet relate to fitted diaphragms, which you get from your doctor. You can always get this and get your doctor to check that it fits you if you were bothered. But it's a one size fits most and I did not get the doctor to check it because I knew an instead soft cut was too big. And this is a bit smaller. As it turns out, it fits me quite well. Well, really well. If it was any bigger, it would be uncomfortable. And that's generally how they fit them at the doctor. They try several sizes and you go one smaller than what is uncomfortable. Anyhow... They can be 96% effective, though a lot of real use stats are a lot worse than that. And that's for many reasons. One, a lot of people do not know where the cervix is and do not check it's inserted properly before having sex. So obviously it is not going to work that well if it's not in the right place. If it doesn't cover your cervix, it doesn't stop anything getting to the places it needs to go. Two. Traditional contraceptive gels contain chemicals that leave quite a few women prone to thrush and BV. So they stop using them and use the diaphragm on its own. And without the spermicide, it's nowhere near as effective as with. This is where contragel is different. This does not contain the same chemicals. And I'll just try and read the box here. This, I'm reading the French here, so you'll have to like, bear with me one second. It has water, lactic acid, 
um, sodium lactate cellulose and sorbic acid I found the English on the other side back in the French so that's not a problem um, so all of those chemicals are a lot less nasty than a lot of the things you may be used to in other contraceptive gels as you can see from the tube we have had plenty of use out of this Need to sneeze there um, we've had quite a lot of use from it and in terms of how long it lasts for us this is 14 99 so the same as like two boxes of condoms and it's lasted longer than two boxes would so it's already paid for itself in that sense uh, I would suggest you like have a look on Google to find some like scientific reports on how accurate a diaphragm is before trusting it and to make sure you're confident but I think if you are confident it is a really simple method it doesn't interfere with your body's hormones it doesn't interfere with your partner's sensitivity which for some men that's a big deal the only thing it can do is if you like your cervix being touched during sex it can reduce your sensitivity but it depends i think everything in life is a compromise so for me and my partner sometimes we use this sometimes we use condoms it gives us gives him a break from condoms not using this gives me a break from altering the ph in my vagina and that kind of thing well, I hope this is like at least remotely informative and as a young woman I think this is brilliant and I wish I'd been told about it by my GP who did nothing but push the pill or the implant which don't work for me because I have a natural tendency towards being depressed and they all make me worse so they are brilliant contraceptive in terms of I don't have sex when I'm on the pill because I sit crying and that is not very attractive to most people so anyway in that sense yeah 100% effective but anyway coming off um, that and using barrier methods really has changed me quite a lot so Anyway, I'll stop waffling. If you do have any questions on this, like just leave me a comment and I'll possibly try to get back to you in a timely manner, but I promise nothing. Thank you.